So I wanted to wait till wait till after E3 to make this video. Um, I wanted to watch all of it first and then decide like should I do this or not. Um, yes. So E3 2021. God help us all. If this is what gaming like presentations and conferences are gonna be like, I don't care for it anymore at this point. Um. This this may be the worst E3 ever. I, I'm not saying who who knows because there's been so many E3s. Um, but this this one right here, help us all. This was dog shit, like actual dog shit. Um, Capcom, you were a disappointment. You came up, show showed your face, and was like, we have Ace Attorney Chronicles. We have uh, Monster Hunter, I think a Monster Hunter Rise 2, or Monster Hunter Stories 2, or something like that. And then you're like, there is like a black screen with words across that said DLC for Resident Evil 8. And that was your whole presentation. My. Why? You could have posted that on Twitter. We could have posted that on Reddit. We could have posted that anywhere. You did not have to come up for a whole presentation, and and I, I don't even blame like uh, the developers like that that much. There was so much filler bullshit for no reason. Like if you go to Gamespot, if you go to IGN uh, on YouTube, and you type in the presentation for um, E3 2021, you are gonna get. A two and a half hour video, sometimes three three hour videos, and it's like, yay, we got so much content, so much. But then when you actually watch the video, you like skipping through like uh, the first hour because there's like a timestamp on the top of the screen, and most of them say like an hour and a half before the presentation starts, and then you you, you slowly realize that you dwindle down most of the video, right there. Square Enix, you're you're bullshit for what you did. That was that was totally bullshit. You came up for an hour. I I mean, you didn't have the longest presentation, but for an hour, there was Guardians of the Galaxy this, Guardians of the Galaxy that, and I'm fine with showing off a brand new game, but a whole hour for Guardians of the Galaxy, and then. At the end, if you if you guys pay close attention around a certain timestamp or time mark, depending on the video, they show three game, well, two games and um, some DLC for um, Final Fantasy fourteen. They show off four spoken for like five seconds. You get Final Fantasy sixteen for five seconds. And you get Final Fantasy fourteen, I think it was like Inwalker, Skywalker, something for like five seconds, and that was it. Horseshit. I'm not saying everybody did bad, not everybody. Xbox and Bethesda, so you gave us some some hope. There was some hope. Um. There are some games I'm really looking forward to. I just wish I would have seen it. There there were nothing. It, it was nothing. I don't even know what to say at this point. It's, 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 you can see I'm irritated because I have like one eye closed and one eye open. Because I'm irritated. Like, what is this? Um, What else was just absolute dog shit? I mean... I think E3 this year was mainly for people who um, play a certain game. You wonder why people are always playing Call of Duty. You, you wonder why people are always playing Fortnite or uh, Battlefield. Because they know what they're getting. This, we don't know what we're getting. The highlight of E3 for me was... Seeing all the games, all the older games has already been out, 
get more DLC. Even if I, d I don't even play Monster Hunter at all. But to see that Monster Hunter is getting a DLC or getting some extra content for its game, it's like, yes, they're, they're getting some. People are asking for it. They're getting it. Same thing with um, Ubisoft and Watch Dogs Legion. We're getting more content. We're actually getting uh, Wrench and we're getting Aiden Pierce. But I don't know how they are going to be because we, don't, we didn't get much. But to see that that's coming, it's like, yes. Smash Brothers, they're getting... Um, a Tekken crossover. What I think they did they already have a Tekken crossover? But they had um they had Terry in there. They they got um players from all over and they're getting Tekken in it. It's like yes, they're getting some amazing and then um what else? Uh Sea of Thieves. I don't even play Sea of Thieves, but they get they're getting a, a huge update. Like I said, the games that that are getting a huge update or are getting some type of content for its its game, I applaud it. I, I really do applaud it. But for you to show up for a two and a half hours and and people actually sat through like I feel bad for people who actually sat through uh the whole conference. I really do feel bad because the whole time I was watching them, I seen so many people in the comments like saying like negative stuff. They're like, where are the games? What is this? What is that? Um, uh, horrible. Um, I might post in the uh, comments, not even in the comments, but in, in the description, some of the games I was looking forward to that I did see at E3 that maybe you didn't see or maybe you didn't get a chance to catch like like I said Forspoken if you didn't pay attention to uh, Square Enix for like five seconds you would not have seen that game it was literally five seconds you would not have seen that um my girl wants to play uh, Forza Forza Horizon 5 I don't even play racing games but I'm gonna buy it cuz why not it looks incredible and it was one of the few games that uh, did stand out uh, Writers Republic. I don't. I mean, I don't play. I haven't played Steep or anything like that. But even that had enough stuff going for it. A lot of indie games showed up. But I want to get back. Get back to the days where E3 was game after game after game after gameplay. I think people even since we can't even do the stage thing because of COVID. Even people just hear some gameplay footage of uh our devs playing the game here's some gameplay footage of one of our uh ceos or techs or um somebody that works in the industry for the with the game showing off some gameplay and letting them suck on uh, you know i wouldn't say suck but let them try the game out and have fun with it you know where is all that where is the fun in e3 this is this is this is going to be the end of this video because I wasn't even planning on making this and being here and talking for however long I've been talking. But at this point, I just want to cut the video. Um, yes, E3 was horseshit. And I just want to get back to the good old days where we can game after the game after the game after. Oh my gosh, surprise after surprise. No, we don't get that anymore. We get horseshit of games. And uh, we got to wait till uh, three years down the line. After a game has been delayed 50 times and then we finally get it and we get, um, you know, a buggy piece of shit that we can't even play. We have to wait. The game releases on in November, but then we get an update to fix it November of next year. Yeah, I'm, I'm tired of this. I really am. And, and people wonder why um, you get so many people to sit there and play Call of Duty because they know what they've already gotten. And they're not going to spend an extra $60 on bullshit. They're not going to play. Not even that. New, newer consoles, what, $70? An extra 10 bucks? Yeah. Not not everybody has the money like that to be spending. Fuck off. Uh, but that's the end of this video. Peace.